and we're rolling we're back on this brown and sharp horizontal milling machine made in about 1942 uh, during the war time <clears throat> and this is the uh, the vertical head and uh, what I've done is I swung it totally out of the way now this mill has a function I couldn't show last time because I didn't have <clears throat> the uh, one of the missing pieces and that just came in. I'll show you what that is <clears throat> Okay uh, I got a one inch arbor horizontal arbor and this is it in this uh, Cincinnati I believe it's a number two tool and cutter grinder the uh, the work head um, it's uh, 50 taper on that side, and then I go clear around over here, and I got five C collets there, okay? So, and I can put a bolt through that, and I'll knock that collet out of there. But uh, uh, I got the 50 taper uh, in the tool and cutter grinder, and I was checking this harbor out. just came in. I, I, I bought it on eBay. It cost a hundred bucks total. I'm just thrilled about getting it. It's a real brown and sharp one, too. Somewhere it says on it. Ooh, right in there, yeah. Oh, oh very nice. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> what I'm doing, uh, you seen the axle sign laid out there and the end gears? Well, Axelson made it easier than, than other manufacturers to cut metric screw threads. And uh, the idle gear on Axelson lathers is either a 120 tooth or a 127 tooth. So you're pretty much home on, on the metric threads. And uh, Axelson has really uh, an easy way to figure these things out. So anyway, I got this uh, one inch arbor, and we'll get back over to the mill here. Now this is this is the the vertical head attachment on here, and uh, one of the things about this attachment here, it's really really hard to get it on and off. Um, <clears throat> the the yoke here is uh, probably half again as heavy as. Uh, a, a, six inch uh, curt bias it's just heavy and it's just so out of whack and weight to to put it on the on the overarms here uh, you really got to disassemble it and get the yoke on first and uh you know then put it all together on there so what they did is they made the back of this where you can put an adapter so i can replace this spline that uh, drives all this self-contained stuff in here. A lot of uh, vertical head attachments have to have a gear mounted right here. And uh, the, whole, the whole thing, let me slide it back without busting my knuckles on this thing. See, this whole thing comes back. And uh, a, a normal... Um, vertical attachment would pro you know would even snug up a little more up against the uh, column but uh, see this thing kicks on out and uh, so I can replace this drive spline um, this piece here with this uh, type A um, milling standard milling spindle this fits into uh, the taper on the milling machine. But I have to make a little bit of an adapter right here uh, that'll hold the bearing to uh, support the end of the arbor. And that way I'll be able to cut my uh, spur gears for that axle, some of the, the gears that I made. I've already gathered stuff up together to do it, and cutters and stuff. And doing it, uh, you know, uh, not real expensive. It's just kind of fun. But uh, I, I tell you what, you know, this uh, um, attachment <laughs> and, and and the uh, ability to also 
uh, hook up uh, horizontal uh, arbors makes this a really versatile machine. You know, you can just do all kinds of things with it. You can actually lay this uh, head on the table, just flat on the table, and drill under the side of that vise. You can you can do absolutely everything on this machine, but make money. <laughs> Well, you know, this thing's pretty awkward. You know, you can do all these things, but, you know, it's going to take you a long time to set it up. And, you know, it, uh, it's, this is a great hobby machine. But, uh, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have in a commercial shop, maybe in the corner, and you'd use it <laughs> every generation. But uh, one of the local guys here, he, he's brutally honest about machinery like this, you know. He, you know, he says, Don, the, uh, the reason the machine is in such great shape is it's really hard to use. <laughs> you know, you can, it, 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 but it's a great hobby machine. I mean, how can you beat that? <laughs> So I thought I'd, I, I thought I'd share that with you and uh, you know and what a, what a nice thing to have with a horizontal milling machine is a cutter grinder. Look at that you know you can put the arbors in here with the cutters on them and sharpen them and then put them in the machine and they're, they run absolutely true. So uh, you know they don't do that anymore. <laughs> but you know the, these old machines I got I'm gathering up here all I'm going to do with them is fix other old machines and <laughs> I think they're just fine for that I think so well thanks for looking here